obviously I won't know the material as well as Peter would. And so uh, here's uh, Peter's disclosures. Um, I don't think they're relevant for this discussion. So uh, as we all know, thoracolumbar spinal deformities can necessitate uh, anterior posterior surgery, circumferential operation to uh, uh, obtain adequate correction. It's traditionally uh, performed in a staged fashion. It could be either same day or um, broken up into um, several days apart. Uh, there's obviously increased invasiveness when you're doing dual proce uh, procedures, particularly on the same day it, with extended an anesthetic time. And we all know that extended anesthesia can lead to complications and um, sort of recovery. Um, in particular, uh, elderly patients who are frail, co uh, have comorbidities, um, uh, don't always do well with these types of approaches. And uh, that's what the, the study by Liao et al. showed, uh, particularly in those that are really old and grade 80. So uh, single position surgery is a relatively new concept in uh, many ways and uh, it's increasingly um, um, quite a bit of literature suggesting that it's beneficial and uh, can obtain uh, results that are very comparable to our standard dual stage operations. Uh, and uh, you know the obvious benefits of a single stage uh, procedure is decreased operating room time, a decreased anesthetic requirement, potentially a faster uh, recovery with less complications. So the objective of the study uh, was to evaluate surgical characteristics, perioperative and postoperative two-year results of the prolateral circumferential approach with spine fusion compared to same-day stage surgery. Uh, so uh, a retrospective analysis of a single center uh, database, uh, inclusion criteria adult patients, same-day uh, surgery, whether it's uh, single-stage prone or, or, or dual-stage uh, but at the same um, sitting. And they looked at a host of baseline demographics, uh, surgical details and outcome data. And you needed two-year follow-up data for it to be included or for the patient to be included. Exclusion criteria were anything non-degenerative in nature. So 122 patients met uh, criteria. About 50 had, uh, or exactly 50, had prolateral uh, surgery, where 72 had uh, dual stage uh, surgery that was performed the same day. Uh, when looking at the outcomes data, uh, obviously uh, looked at uh, surgical characteristics, readmissions, postoperative complications, as well as um, uh, the numeric uh, rating scale for pain. That was the uh, PROM that was assessed. And uh, surgical data is, uh, is listed, complications, uh, fairly typical uh, when looking at a surgical population such as this. Statistical analysis was a uh, very straightforward descriptive analysis, mean comparison tests uh, per univariate comparison. And, uh, multivariate logistic regression was also ran, adjusting for various uh, uh, potential confounders. When looking at uh, significant differences between cohorts, uh, the prolateral cohort uh, was older and had a, a lower BMI, although it, on average just two, uh, uh, a two-point difference. Uh, the same-day surgeries had, uh, were uh, more extensive uh, based on uh, levels treated, osteotomy, decompression time. So uh, there was an element of selection bias uh, present. Uh, the blood loss, uh, not surprisingly, was decreased in the prone uh, surgery and operative time was decreased in prone surgery as well. And if you look at the radiographic uh, outcomes, you can see in the prone group, uh, there, there definitely was an increase in, in uh, degree of lordosis and as well as a decrease in the mismatch. Um, the correction when compared between groups were, were actually um, better in the prone group in, in terms of the uh, degree of mismatch change, so you had on average negative 3.7. Uh, and the uh, GAP uh, relative pelvic version, and, and that's uh, for those who don't know, GAP is the sacral slope versus the, the the actual sacral slope versus the ideal sacral slope, and the pelvic tilt uh, improvement was um, better in the prolateral surgery, surprisingly. Um, and when you're looking at complications, there was 13 percent neurologic complication in the prone group, uh, but actually fairly comparable to the same day surgery group. So you can see this mouse pointer is very similar, and. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, other, uh, you know, complication profile in general, the, the prone group did better uh, in, uh, for complication per patient and reoperation rates as well. So outcomes, uh, surprisingly, again, I, I think the prone group was doing so well. Yeah, yeah the NRS back uh, pain uh, improved versus same-day surgery. So uh, there's a whole sort of discussion here. Again, uh, difficult to go through, but it basically suggesting the prone uh, radiographically is better and neurologic results are very comparable to the lateral group. And so uh, in conclusion, I think prone lateral spine surgery in comparison to same-day surgery actually has uh, potential advantages. Thank you.